requiring tour boat operators to have at least one crew member who is lifeguard certified. That is a proposal some say will help save lives. Jen Beniza joins us live down on the waterfront tonight with more on this story. Jen. Dash ocean drownings are the leading cause of death for visitors to Hawaii. That's according to a study on drownings by the Department of Health. A new bill will hope to save lives by requiring crews to have stricter regulations and more safety training for crews on tour boats. Millions of visitors flock to Hawaii each year, many of them spending a great deal of time enjoying ocean tours and activities. I met with Keller Laros, president of the Manta Pacific Research Foundation. He's pushing to ensure the crews leading boat tours know how to react in the event of an emergency. Whenever you go somewhere in Hawaii, you expect that the people who are helping you or serving you who are working in the industry have been trained to be professionals in that industry. And with far as snorkeling goes, that's not the case at all. Lauro says that although the Coast Guard requires the captain to be certified, there are currently no laws requiring the crew on small boat tours to be trained in CPR and other life-saving techniques. Lauro's is trying to change that. The bill's goal is to require that every boat or vessel that allows passengers into the water in the state of Hawaii have at least one crew member trained as a lifeguard. Representative Nicole Lowen tells me she believes tour companies have a responsibility to keep their passengers safe. I think that this would save lives and we've seen a number of tourist drownings that I think some of which could have been prevented um, and we'd like to prevent future ones from happening. Last year, the bill made it through the House, but stalled in the Senate. The bill lists the Department of Land and Natural Resources as the agency tasked with setting the safety regulations. DLNR opposed the bill last session, stating that the Coast Guard should be the one to set the safety regulations. We reached out to DLNR for comment and are waiting for a response. Live from Ala Moana Beach Park, Jen Boniza, KH12 News. Back to you, Dash.